One of the strengths of this site is its high accessibility from the main roads and to public transport, Medan Tuangu Monorail. Located at the hustle and bustle of the city in Kuala Lumpur, the site faces social issues where children roam around the area without the adults' accompaniment and monitoring. With their parents occupied, trying to put food on the table, the unsupervised children become aimless and vulnerable to negative influences. Besides that, they also lack learning exposures and opportunities where they have no access to resources to read and learn. This is because of their difficulty in pursuing their education due to citizenship. The children's interests are also uncultivated due to busy parents. Hence, the objective of the building is to spark learning and creativity in children by providing resources and services to meet their needs in terms of personal development. Secondly, to provide children with safe and stress-free environment to gather, meet, interact and develop skills with their peers. Thirdly, to instill positive children development by introducing lifelong hobbies for children. Urban Children Library is designed to provide accessibility and flexibility of spaces to support methods of reading and learning activities as well as to assist them in terms of personal development. Gasing is used as a source of inspiration to preserve the national identity of Malaysia and to exhibit the playfulness of children. The gassing form will then integrate with another modern children top spinning game, the eraser game, as a result of a traditional element with a modern twist in order to allocate the traditional element in a modernized urban context. The profiles of both gassing and rectangular eraser are highlighted. The hierarchy profile of the gassing and the rectangular profile of the eraser is then combined into a stair-like zigzag profile. The building is then staggered as interpretation of the gassing-inspired profiles. An L-shape is introduced in consideration of the site boundary. The form is then staggered to achieve the desired profile. It is then extended to a Z-shape and three service blocks are introduced. So why the Z-shape? Besides the profile lines, the Z-shape actually signifies the circular motion of the gassing the circular motion in which the opposite points are in oppositional direction is highlighted as the motion and direction of the spinning gassing. The building has five functional levels. On the ground floor, the cafe is located next to the outdoor children games, such as sandpit and traffic games for easier monitoring of the children. Next to the information counter is the swing table and pre-loved booth stores. Each floor level above ground floor is catered to a specific age group in consideration of their mental and physical learning abilities. The first floor is catered to 2-3 to three years old which is categorized as toddlers. The second floor is for preschoolers from 4-6 to six years old. The third floor is for 7-12 to 12 years old primary schoolers. And finally, the fourth floor is for teenagers. First floor is the read and adventure zone, where it is catered to toddlers that start gaining motor skills and activation of their imagination. Hence, it is equipped with toddlers reading collections and storytelling area. Playgrounds and net climbing areas are accessible to the second floor. Next, on the second floor, arts and craft areas are introduced as creative space as children continue to develop their imagination and memory. Both private and public reading spaces such as TPs and reading lounge are designed to cater their social independency and territorial behaviour at this stage. Amphitheatre is placed on a third floor that connects to the fourth floor as a social interactive space for primary schoolers and teenagers. It is good to provide space for them to develop social interaction where they start to behave considerably towards others. 
Both age groups have their new social and academic demands. Hence, both floors are equipped with academic and leisure reading collections. Other spaces include open study area, career desks, learning and computer labs are for their academic needs. And finally, located on the fourth floor is the staff office. It is undeniable that children develop rapidly and the development is especially crucial for them in order to have a normal and healthy life. Hence, it is important to identify their stages of development while providing appropriate spaces accordingly to their age, behaviour and development.